All right, good morning, everyone. I'd like to uh, welcome everyone here at City Hall to our uh, celebration of Italian Republic Day, uh, one of our uh, many celebrations of the various uh, ethnic communities here within the city of Brockton. Uh, we've got some uh, great guests here with us today. Uh, I do want to uh, be sure to acknowledge a couple of the elected officials with us today. Uh, Ward 6 City Council Jack Lally is here with us today. And State Senator Michael Brady is also here and we'll invite the Senator up in just a minute. I'd like to open today's uh, ceremonies by inviting up the immediate past president of the Christopher Columbus Lodge, Jackie Bonarigo, for our invocation. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the prayer to St. Francis, and um, this is said at all the lodge meetings throughout the state and the country. So, um, though I looked it up yesterday, and it's he, St. Francis never really said this, and they said they don't think he would have because it has a lot of me and I, but um, it's called the prayer of St. Francis. So, here goes. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, and now I'd like to invite up uh, our dear friend George Cataldo to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I want to, uh, Senator Brady, would you like to come up and say a couple words? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I know some of our other state delegation is on their way. We have a busy day in Brock with a lot of meetings and there's master sites graduation today and meetings at YM, the YMCA. But uh, I'm honored to be here as your state senator and we come with a lot of rich history in our Italian heritage in the city of Brockton, especially Ward 2 where I once served as a city councilor and um, Charlie Tatago of Italian heritage was once a city councilor and then Tom Kenny preceded me before he became a state uh, rep and, and senator. But I'm very honored to be here as a delegation from the state senate and we must never forget our rich history in the city of Brockton and God bless everyone for being here today and God bless the Italian Americans who have given us a lot in the city of Brockton for our freedoms. God bless you. Apparently Mike wore a designer Italian suit today to celebrate uh, Italian Republic Day. That's a nice suit, Mike. I'm a little, I, I like that one. I listen to my Italian friend Tom Hayes. So at this time, uh, I'd like to uh, invite up the uh, commander of the Italian American Veterans uh, Post, Anthony O'Brien.
I just want to send greetings on behalf of the Italian American War Veterans Post 62 uh, here in Brockton, um, especially for uh, recently outgoing Commander Joe Picanzi, who uh, sends his uh, greetings and love, always uh, attended this event. Um, he and another very active veteran in the Italian American community. Um, uh, Yoba Burke Giraldi, uh, they are both in uh, medical facilities, so if you keep them in your, uh, in your prayers, uh, and they are progressing, um, and they are in the region. In fact, I'm, I'm going to pick up uh, a great friend, Lou Tarantino, who couldn't make it this morning, and sends his love. Um, Lou's still, uh, still going strong, uh, well into his 90s. Um, and of course, he's a, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a war hero as a, as a, a former POW uh, in World War II, and I'm going to pick him up, and then we're going to visit uh, Joe and and, uh, and Bert, so uh, uh, it's an honor to represent them, to represent the, uh, that the post, we are still meeting um, at the War Memorial Building. We are grateful to the city um, for, that, uh, for that opportunity, still very involved in different uh, parades and ceremonies um, that go on throughout the year. We have our annual uh, Columbus Scholarship uh, luncheon, uh, um, sorry, luncheon, um, and of course participate in this ceremony. We have our own Memorial Day uh, ceremonies for, uh, for our, our monument that we're also very grateful for over at uh, DW Field Park um, on Oak Street. And of course, uh, besides uh, a great Brocktonian, Lou Tarantino, um, Rocky Marciano, I got from, from great friend Todd Petty, got my, my Rocky Marciano uh, update on, on some of the things he's working on with regards to uh, the different foundations involved with the Marciano family. And um, uh, Marciano, of course, was, was a veteran of note uh, as well. Uh, so we're very grateful for all that. I, I also want to recognize uh, Dave Farrell, the, uh, the Veterans Director for the city that we have a great relationship with, with and as well as the, uh, the Sons of Italy. A lot of our members are, uh, are members of the Sons of Italy and we do uh, quite a few things together throughout the year. Thank you especially to uh, our city officials that do uh, so much for so many, including our Italian Americans. I've been in many of the events here uh, throughout the year celebrating the different ethnicities in Brockton. Um, it's a wonderful crowd that we have today. I especially love of the ones where we bring over all the kids uh, from the schools. They're really, really a lot of fun. So uh, try to get to one next opportunity you get. And uh, thank you and enjoy the day. Thank you, Tony. Uh, at this time, I'd like to invite up the president of Christopher Columbus Lodge 216 and our uh, good friend and former city councilor, Todd Petty. Buongiorno, come stai? Bene. Molto bene. Questo giorno, molto importante in historia di Italia. Questo giorno, molto, molto importante in dipendenza per Italia. After World War II, Italy had a decision to make. Stay under the rule of a monarchy, or become a republic. In 1946, the people of Italy voted. And with 23 million votes cast, 12.7 million votes were to change to a republic and a little more than 10 million to keep it as a monarchy. People had visions for Italy. And one man named Benito Mussolini was not part of that vision. Prior to World War II, in the height of immigration, three million Italians left Italy for the United States. The most of any ethnic group. Now many would think that it was, it was, was Irish, but it was actually the Italians had the most people come to the United States. And the Italians were responsible for many, many things, particularly the stonemasons. Behind us, you see the viaducts that the trains have been running on since the late 1800s. Those viaducts, which run from Montello to Campello, were built primarily with Italian labor. And may I add, Mr. Mayor, Brockton, Massachusetts, our wonderful city, the city of champions, is the only community in the United States of America where a train track does not intersect with a street. The train is either beneath a street or over a street. 
What a design. It was an engineering marvel at its time. So Mr. May, and may I add, and everyone else, so if you find yourself in the path of an oncoming train, <laughs> it's because you put yourself there. <laughs> But that is something that the city of Brockton, along with many other uh, innovations, is, um, is, is credited with doing. Um, now, Italy, the boot as we know it, was not always called Italy. Calabria, think of it as the toe of the boot. Calabria was named Italy. The rest was just vast land. And the name Vetulia is the root word for the name of Italy. And in the first century, <laughs> the rest of the land was named Italy. So it goes back to the first century and before that. And Vetulia means the land of cattle. It's probably where Vale came from. And, um, land of young cattle was down in the Calabria region. And so that's where there's a little history on the name of the country of Italy. And having said that, along with the people who came over here in the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s, two of which were my grandparents, uh, Celestino Petty, my grandfather, came over here in 19 1905, and my grandmother, Santina Ferrara came over here several years later in 1912. And if you look right over here at this picture, this is my grandfather, Celestino Petty. That's my grandmother, uh, Santina Ferrara, and their six children. And the youngest right here, that's my father, Celestino Chow. And this wonderful picture right here, this is a copy of my grandmother's one-way ticket from Naples, Italy to Boston, Massachusetts, it departed on September 21st, 1912. My grandmother was only 18 years old. It was a second class ticket. Her brother Pasquale was already here in Brockton. And he wired the money overseas. And he sent for my grandmother. And you can see Pasquale Ferrara had wrote his address in Brockton. The cost, one way ticket, second class, $65. Now if you look, it's also the White Star Line, which was the same liner that um, owned the uh, Titanic as well. And so this, and so my grandmother left Italy only five months after the Titanic sank. And it really makes you wonder, how much did the people really know? You know, because my grandmother was from Santa Croce to Magliano in Campo Basso, which was up in the mountains. And how much did those people really know? Now, when my grandfather came here in 1905, he went to work for my uncle Mike Lally on Lawrence Street. And when my uncle Mike Lally retired eight years later, my grandfather, who worked in this store right here, this is Lawrence Street, right, right over here um, off of Maine. This is the first Petty's Market in 1913. That's my grandfather, my uncle Mike, and his brother Matteo. You can see the cobblestone street in the uh, horse wagon, horse and buggy that they used to uh, deliver uh, groceries back then. So Brockton was, Brockton was welcoming. It still is a welcoming community. People worked hard to make Brockton everything that it is. And we'd just like to continue, um, continue doing that and improving our city in every way we can. And uh, Mr. Mayor, I thank you for having this wonderful celebration today. And we look forward to uh, your, your, your comments. Thank you very much. Enjoy, I actually enjoyed that, Todd. <laughs> I'm intrigued by that monarchy idea. What's that? I'm intrigued by the monarchy idea. Could we, do you think the city council would actually pass that? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely not. Uh, I do have a proclamation on behalf of the city to present. And so if I could invite uh, uh, Todd and, and Anthony back up uh, to represent uh, their organizations. I'll uh, read this so everyone can uh, hear it and then uh, present it. And make sure I absolutely get it right. I'll put my glasses on. But Todd could fill in some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he always could. Yeah. 
Um, this is a proclamation on behalf of the city of Brockton. Whereas on June 2nd, 1946, in a national referendum, the people of Italy voted to abolish the monarchy in favor of adopting a republic form of government which led to the formation of the Republic of Italy. And whereas this day is now annually celebrated as a day of national pride throughout Italy as Republic Day. And whereas the Italian culture has made a positive impact on our society since the dawn of Western civilization, making great contributions in the fields of art, science, humanities, ports, and politics. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of the traditions, religion, and cuisine of the Italian culture, which were brought to us by the many Italian immigrants who made their way to our city and placed an indelible mark on the city of champions. And whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Italian heritage and extend to them our best wishes for continued success and prosperity, now therefore, be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as the mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim June 1st, 2018, as Italian Republic Day in the city of Brockton. And I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to recognize this momentous occasion and all the wonderful contributions the Italian population has made to our community. And is signed and sealed today. And I would uh, present this to uh, both uh, Anthony and Todd. Great, thank you. You, very you, much guys, you, you, you guys can flip a coin. Thank for you very it much. Hang it up in short. Something tells me I'm going to have to make a second one of those. <laughs> um, we're very pleased to be joined by uh, State Representative uh, Claire Cronin, Chair of the Judiciary Committee. And Claire, great to have you here with us. Would you like to make a couple of remarks? You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Doing enough talking up on Beacon Hill? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it's, it's great to have you here with us. Uh, so at this time, uh, I think it's time for us to uh, raise the Italian flag here in Brockton City Hall. And we'll invite uh, our esteemed guest up here to raise the flag. So, you know, George, Todd, Anthony, if the legislative delegation would like to join us, please do. Everyone get your hand on this roll. This is the one that brings it up right here. So put your hand on this one. Secure the line. Right away, sir. <laughs> 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 